the Guantanamo order, which everybody was very uh, eagerly anticipated, actually does a lot less than a lot of people think it does. Um, people think, you know, that it, it's it's going to create this system in which we're going to depopulate Guantanamo within a year and send everybody home or charge them with a crime, right? The order actually doesn't say that. What the order actually says is we're going to close Guantanamo a year from now, and in the meantime, we're going to study the each case of the just under 250 people who remain there. We're going to see who we can release. We're going to see who we can prosecute and in what forum we can prosecute them. And if anybody's left at the end, we're going to hold them somewhere other than Guantanamo. And so it doesn't give you any promises as to how many people you're going to release, how many people you're going to prosecute, how many people you're going to be able to resettle in third countries, how many people you're going to resettle in the United States. All it says is we're going to try all those things, all of which the Bush administration was already trying. And if we have anybody left over at the end of the day, we're going to hold them somewhere other than Guantanamo. It also sets up a task force um, to study the longer term problem of what our detention policies should be. And so really what it does is it begins a process of kind of making these larger decisions, both about the individual detainees, but also about the detention policy. It isn't the policy outcome itself. It's really the initiation of a process in that regard. The administration and the president himself are probably keenly aware of the degree to which uh, our prior interrogation and detention policies have alienated allies. And they're probably very keen to establish a new tone. Um, One of the challenges in closing Guantanamo is going to be to get European countries to resettle and agree to accept people who are currently detained there. And the more energetic you seem as an administration that you're really committed to solving this problem and putting the errors of the Bush administration behind us, I think the more likely you are to get European cooperation in that project. And so I think there's you know, several reasons, and they all kind of push in the same direction that this is it's a matter of urgency for them at least to get the process started.